My name is Hamad Nasser. I'm the lead curator for Turner Prize exhibition in 2021. The Turner Prize is one of the world's best known prizes for contemporary art. Its home is in Tate Britain in London, but every other year it travels to a different part of the country. This year it's in Coventry at the Herbert Art Gallery and Museum. Now there are a number of things that make this year's Turner Prize distinctive. It's the first time the prize is in the Midlands. It's the first time instead of four nominees, we have five. But perhaps the most distinctive feature is that all five nominees are artist groups or collectives. They pose large questions to us about how we live our everyday lives. What do we eat? Who do we see? Whose voices can we hear? What do we stand for? And who do we stand with? These artists invite us to think and feel differently about what we make of the world. These artists don't just point to things that are out there in the world and represent them through artworks that live inside the gallery or the museum. They're actually interested in making change happen in the real world. They're constructing pocket utopias. And this exhibition is a collective invitation for all of us to come and test these utopias and make of them what we will. Gentle Radical is a collaborative cultural project based in Cardiff's Riverside neighborhood. They work with culture in its widest frame through intergenerational film screenings, communal gatherings over food, or group singing sessions. They work over the long term to build something together. And you're more likely to find them in their local community center than the art gallery. In a series of filmed works, they share slices of their ongoing conversations, exploring ideas that are personal and collective to them. How do we raise children beyond the nuclear family? How do we hold spaces for grief and loss. In a second work, we see them coming together to sing a Welsh bardic prayers written in the 18th century as a reimagining of a Welsh culture lost to colonialism. And a third important element of their presentation is in the form of notes that you can see as a wall drawing. The notes spell out an emergent curriculum comprising their ideas and those of others. They offer points of departure into different ways of working and living. The Ray Collective are a Belfast-based group of artists and activists. And you're as likely to come across their work in a protest, a campaign or public intervention as you are in a public art gallery. They champion issues ranging from reproductive rights to LGBTQI plus equality and language rights in Northern Ireland. Their banners, costumes, role play, processions, and films combine a seriousness of intent with a raucous sense of fun. And for their presentation, this year's Turner Prize exhibition, they held a party in Belfast, the Druids Ball, to which they invited their friends and comrades. That party was then filmed and is now being shown inside the Herbert Art Gallery in a recreated shabin, which they call a pub without permission. The pub features many of the props that you can see in the film and is a marker for the centenary of Ireland's partition. Black Obsidian Sound System, or BOSS, Organize events around a collectively built sound system, which is available to rent by community groups and brings together queer, trans, and non-binary black people and people of color engaged in art, sound, and activism. Their presentation at this year's Turner Prize comprises of two different spaces. One is an immersive installation, a reworking of their presentation for this year's Liverpool Biennial called The Only Good System is a Sound System. The second space 
is a workshop space where during the run of the exhibition, they host live broadcast sessions with a local community radio station, Hills FM, and run workshops in which they're building two portable editions called Baby Boss with local community groups. One of these will be left behind in Coventry as part of their efforts in amplifying other voices. And one will become part of the overall BOSS system. Project Artworks is a Hastings-based organization who work with neurodivergent artists and help them develop creative practices. Their work is centered on creating a studio environment where a neurodivergent artist can thrive. And this often includes supporting the artist's families in navigating complex social care and health system. Their presentation for this year's Turner Prize exhibition comprises three parts. The first is what looks like a conventional exhibition with drawings and paintings on the wall. The second is an open archive of artworks that have been produced over the last 20 years. The third is a fully functioning studio where during the course of the exhibition, Project Artworks studio holders will be working in the studio space and holding workshops and conversations with local community groups in Coventry. For their presentation at the Turner Prize, cooking sections present Salmon, Traces of SKPs, an audio and film installation that explores the environmental impact of salmon farms in Scotland. A second part of their presentation actually takes place all over the country, where they have persuaded more than 20 restaurants in museums and on the Isle of Skye to remove farmed salmon from their menus and replace them with climate war alternatives. To find out more about the Turner Prize exhibition, and to watch the artist's films, do visit the Herbert's website.